Okay, I am tired of striving. <laughs> I'm tired of setting goals. I'm tired of healing. I'm tired. I'm just very, very tired. And um, I noticed the shift by looking at my watch later list on YouTube and how a lot of the videos that I had about like how to achieve, et cetera, and how to, you know, do all these things, X, Y, and Z, I was deleting them. <laughs> I was deleting them. Um, Cause I'm like, I'm tired of achieving. Like there's no end. There's no end to achieving. It's like, once you get the thing that you think that you want, then there's the bar for something else, right? And like, I don't know, like, it feels like a lot of content these days are preying on people's desire for more or for better or for different. And I'm grateful for the people that are actually showing people how to get different, right? How to get free. But like a lot of the stuff is just like a bunch of clickbait online. Like people just, again, mining people of their energy and their time and their attention because they know that people are unfulfilled. They know that people are unfulfilled. They know that people are desperate and unhappy and exploited and exhausted. And so people keep watching stuff and buying things, thinking like, oh, this is going to be it. This is going to be the thing, you know? And for myself, like, I'm just tired of being sold to. I'm tired of achieving. I'm tired of setting goals. I'm tired. Like, all I really want is just to be. That's all I want. All I want is to be. All I want is to make things with my with my creativity and my hands and my voice and, and put it out there and share it and be at peace. And to have, you know, the, the resources to be able to eat well and to sleep well and to give well um, and to do good, you know? And it's just like, it's just so hard just trying to maintain um, here. It's so hard just trying to maintain, but it's also really hard to just like, to be, to be like, even though I'm trying really hard to come out of hustle culture and grind culture and all these different things, it's like, even healing can become a place of like, of, of hustle culture, of grind culture, right? Like, oh, I gotta heal. I gotta do these journal exercises. I gotta do this meditation. I gotta, you know, exercise and move my body. I gotta like, it's almost like we're running. Like, I feel like I'm always running out of fear. Like I'm always running. It's never like, I don't want to say never, but oftentimes it's not like, oh, I want to, I'm doing this because it makes me happy or brings me joy. It's like, I'm doing this because I don't want to die. I'm doing this because I don't want to starve to death. I'm doing this because I don't want um, to be broke. I'm doing this, right, so that myself in 50 years doesn't have dementia or doesn't have like arthritis or doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always about like preventative stuff. And so like, I'm always in the future, <laughs> you know, like I can never just be in the moment um and that's all i desperately want is to be in the moment and obviously like there are some things i need to figure out but it's just like even with that like oh, i need to figure out that feels like striving and straining like even that feels like work it feels like heavy lifting um when all i really want to do is just sleep for like three weeks without the world falling apart you know what i mean um and because I've been running for so long, I don't know how to slow down. I don't know how to keep still. I don't know how not to achieve. I don't know who I am without achievement. I don't know who I am without always having to have something on the horizon or, you know what I mean? Like having something planned or like, oh, what do you plan to do? And, you know, and I'm, I'm grateful because I've been uh, selected uh, to go on sabbatical shout out to stephanie perry and her sabbatical fund people like i'm grateful and it's just like as i'm getting closer to the time to slow down i'm really asking myself like what does that look like for me and i, ha I have no idea and it's not because i don't have hobbies or interests or goals right it's just like and there goes that word goals again <laughs> it's not because i don't have hobbies and interests it's the fear it's the fear it's the fear of not enough um, like not having enough, right? Like maybe not being enough. And I'm just very excited about this opportunity to be able to step into being as opposed to doing and always doing like, and even the doing that I want to do, I want it to come from just being, you know what I mean? Like not because I have a deadline, not because I have an outcome that I want, you know, like I want views or I want money, right? Like those kind of outcomes, but just because I want to do it because it makes me happy. Um, I haven't had many opportunities to do that in life. You know, it's a privilege to be able to just do things for fun. Um, you know, 
I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I'm just very tired. I'm just tired of striving. I'm tired of trying. Like, I don't want to try anymore. I just want to be. I just want to be. And then by being, you have to recognize and acknowledge that there are some things that it's going to cost you just to be, right? When people ask, oh, what's next? And you say, like, nothing, you know? People don't know how to sit with that. People don't know how to connect with that, right? A lot of us are connecting with each other based on like our goals and our dreams and things like that. But like, what does it mean to just be, right? Like I need to do more being activities instead of like doing activities. You know what I'm saying? Like doing to me makes me feel like I'm trying to do something um, to earn something where being is more like I'm, I'm doing something or participating in something because it brings me joy. You know what I mean? Like there's a difference to me. I'm tired of striving. I feel like I am burned out because like I've been striving and trying since grade school. And when you think about that, like we've been running full speed, a lot of us, since five, four years old, right? Deadlines, tests, achievements, awards, expectations, um, more deadlines, like more expectations. We don't have a lot of time to just be. We don't have a time, a lot of time to just be ourselves or even like to figure out someone. There's, there's a part of me that's mourning the years that I lost because I, even though I knew myself, like I didn't get to know myself. Like I feel like a lot of our adolescent years are robbed from us because we're so focused on the future, right? Like what's next after high school? You know, you get ninth grade and sometimes even eighth, but you get in ninth grade and it's like, oh, what do you want to be? Like you need to go to school. You need to find school. Like striving and running and just running. And I'm tired of running. I'm so tired. And I'm also afraid to slow down. You know, it's like, I know I need to slow down. And I know that I would be better for it, right? Um, but even like when you're driving a car and you're pressing the brake, like how the car slows down is friction, right? The, the brake is pushing up against the I don't know anything about this, but it pushes up against the brake, the, the, the disc, right? That's why sometimes you got to get your brakes changed because the discs have worn down, right? But it's a lot of friction and friction is painful. Friction is not fun. It burns, right? When someone slams on their brake, like, you know, you could feel the jolting. You know, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of energy behind us from running. And it's almost like I'm running because I know that if I stop, everything is going to hit me. Right, like everything from the back of the car is gonna fling up and like and hit me, and it's not necessarily bad, right? Like maybe I need to confront the things that I've been running from. Maybe I need to be honest about how I've been feeling, right? Um, but it's hard to admit that you're exhausted when you feel like you have no support either. When you feel like, where can I go to retreat? Where can I go to fall apart? Where can I go? You know, and much like I've talked about before, like this idea of letting my life fall apart because if I have to keep everything afloat, then it has to fall apart because I don't want to hold everything up. I'm just human. You feel me? Like that's not a badge of honor to like, oh, if you don't show up, it's not going to happen. Like that's not the kind of person I want to be. I thought that's who I had to be. <laughs> I thought I had to be the person. I thought I had to start all the things and manage all the things and lead all the things. And like, I'm realizing now, like, I don't actually want to be a manager. I don't actually want to be like a people. I don't want to be, um, I don't like this hierarchy of like, oh, I am the person, right? Is actually white supremacist ideology when it's really like, I just want community. Like I wanna belong. Um, and even personally, like sometimes as an artist or as a creator or whatever, facilitator, um, it could feel very lonely, right? It could feel really lonely because people know you for your things, but you wonder like if people really want to know you. You know what I mean? I'm happy. I enjoy creating and I'm honored when people compliment me. So I don't want people to stop complimenting me. But at the same time, like I want my soul to be seen, you know? And sometimes it can feel like when people are just praising you because of what you create, it's like, oh, you you like me because of what I can do for you. You like me because of, um, what's the word? Because of the, the labor that I've done. You know what I mean? And you're afraid of falling into oblivion you know, like that's a fear of mine, like falling into oblivion, um, not being 
the person that you're praised for being. And that's why like when people give me compliments, it's really hard for me to take it. It's it's hard for a lot of reasons, but I think one of them is because like I just like I don't I hope that you like me. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I'm also on my period. There's a lot of things happening. <laughs> There's a lot of hormonal activity going on. Um but like I just have to and I and that's the thing like I'm recording this video because I tried journaling it and, and like writing it and I love writing and like the words just would not come like picking up the pen and putting it to paper felt like work it felt like a lot of energy and that's not like me but like the notebook is the place that I go because that's the one place that I know I can be seen and accepted and I can be honest um you know what I'm saying but like I didn't have the energy for that and I'm like what's going on so I'm like, maybe I just need to hear myself say the words, right? Maybe I need to say the words out loud um, and be honest about what I feel. Like I'm drained, I'm tired, I'm uninspired, but I'm inspired at the same time. I think I'm just like in a place of burnout and I want to be well. Um, I want to live a long and healthy and happy life. Like one of my fears is like getting older and getting and becoming sick because of like all the things I've endured in life. And that's another thing, scrolling and, and like finding all these medical things. Like, I always feel like I'm like five minutes from like an anxiety attack. So excuse me, I just need to pause. Um, but like scrolling online and like, oh yeah, stress is, you know, stress, stress causes this and stress, you know, you, people with who are stressed develop this. And it's like, I don't wanna be that person. <laughs> And that stresses me out. So like you're on a cycle of like fear um, and being aware that you're stressed and then, and then worrying about the stress on your body and then like being stressed about the stress that you've already endured and like trying to find healing modalities and like that could feel like work and then everybody has like a thousand dollars and it's just like, I need help. You know what I mean? And um even though I can't afford all the fancy things, even though I can't like do all the things that I wanna do, um, what I can do is stop. What I can do is pause. And I am afraid of the repercussions and what comes from that, you know what I mean? But I just don't wanna feel empty anymore. You know, like maybe what I need is like to go to the ocean and cry. Maybe what I need is like to fall apart. And it's hard when you wanna fall apart and you have nowhere to do it. It's like you're always running, you know, trying to meet this place or trying to find that place where you can finally like be. And it's like, I'm realizing, at least you can't wait, you know, to be, you You just have to be. You like, you, you're like literally how this, how the West operates is not so that you can take a break. How you like, how our systems operate, how social media operates, right? How um, even the music industry, the and as an independent artist specifically, like as a creator, as an artist, it's a very like exploiting uh, system. It takes everything from you and gives you pennies, you know? Like you can get a million streams on Spotify, for example, and make like a thousand something dollars. And you know, like maybe it's in the thousands, but it's still not enough like <laughs> to, to sustain yourself. Um, even as an artist, when I create for like brands and things like that and commercials, like, and sometimes they don't wanna pay you until 90 days later. It's like, it's, I'm just, I'm, I'm weary. Um, it's like when Solange's song, like I'm weary of the weight of the world, like that's how I feel. Just so weary and people are so tired and like, People are tired of being sold to. People are tired of being exploited and harmed and dangling a carrot in front of their faces, like having a carrot dangled in front of their faces. You know what I mean? If you do this thing, if you do this thing, it's like it just never ends. It never stops. It never stops. And then you get the thing and then you have to maintain the thing. And it's just like, what I want is slow. What I want is simple, which is why like I started the whole like my new mantra is like slow is love. And I think I'm pivoting into that. Like I thought I had to keep being who I've always been. Um, and I'm just not her anymore. 
And I think that's okay because I've been holding on to her like, no, like you've gotten me so far and like this is what people know me for and like this is me stepping into new territory and I don't, I'm not 100% sure or confident in what I'm doing. And I'm like, that's just, that's just such a beautiful place to be, right? Like it's such a beautiful place to be to not have to know everything and to be able to journey and grow. But growth costs, right? And um, I've really been sitting with myself like how badly do you want to be? And I want it bad. And so maybe that means slowing down, creating. Maybe that means pivoting altogether. Maybe that means falling off the face of the earth for a few months. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, who knows? I'm just, all I know is that I'm tired of striving. Like all of the, like you look online, it's like the, the videos that are doing the most, like numbers and views are videos about like aspiration. You know, people don't want to be where they are. People don't want to be here. People are tired, you know, and it's like, oh, like people are looking for security. They're looking for uh, hope. I think that's the thing. People want hope so badly. And it's like, I don't want to anchor my hope in the future. I don't want to anchor, you know, my joy in the past. Like, I want to be so present. I want to be so with myself that my life brings me hope. Like, even in the hard times, like there is hope. But honestly and truly, I have been in a hopeless place for a long time. Um, been struggling with mental health issues, anxiety, despair, depression for, and it kind of doesn't make any sense, right? When you're looking at your life, but like, I think um, the soul knows the truth, right? The soul knows, like, the soul knows the things that you try to convince yourself of that aren't true. Like you can't lie to your soul. And at some point it's going to manifest um, in different ways, right? So even like last week, like I was really sick last week and I don't even know where it came from. Nobody around me was ill. You know, you could pick up viruses from anywhere, but like I think my immune system is just tr shot <laughs> because I was gonna say trash, it's not trash. I love your immune system, it's me. My immune system is struggling because I'm so stressed. Like, and when you're stressed out, your immune system is compromised. Um, and so I've been like, dealing with things and trying to maintain, but like those maintenance practices are not working anymore. And my soul is like, girl, we need more. We go we're gonna need some like concrete, uh, like we're doing this, we're not doing this anymore, boundaries. We're gonna need some movement. We're gonna need some practice of being. And I think like that's where I wanna take things. Like I wanna take things so slow. I wanna slow down so much that it makes people uncomfortable, that it makes me uncomfortable so that I get comfortable with being slow and pacing myself and doing the least right because i know that i want ease i know that i want peace i know that i want slow and then when i try to slow down it could feel like jolting like slowing like slamming the brakes on my car so maybe i just need to take it gradual like gradually we're gonna gradually we're gonna place the foot this is my foot on the pedal by the way like so this is like um when you're signing quick whatever when you're signing and like you're like talking about pressing the brake on the pedals you just like like if you're stopping really fast, right? But like, I just want to like gingerly press the pedal, you know, and slow down and walk into a more easeful, slow, fulfilling life. Um, because when you're moving at like a thousand miles an hour all the time, you're going to be exhausted, right? You're not going to be even be able to experience and like marinate in and, you know, savor the moments of your life or even like your creations. Like, what I want to make, right? Like even the stuff that I want, the journeys I want to create for other people, the programs, like I don't want a six week course. I want a 12 month course. <laughs> you feel me? Like so that we can journey together and we meet like once a month. Like why can't that be good? Because everybody wants a quick response. And I'm just like, I'm just not, I'm not that girl anymore. I, I feel like the girl who was the quick response and doing things, do, doing things fast was in survival mode, running for her life, fearing for her life. And I'm just like, what if I trusted slow? What if I trusted ease? What if I trusted pace? What if I trusted lingering and savoring more than I did transitioning onto the next thing, the new thing? Um, what if I'm okay with falling behind? Because y'all know I don't believe in that. But what if I'm okay with falling behind? What if I don't want to keep up anymore? Like, I think I'm just in a place where I'm okay with falling behind because y'all can have it <laughs> y'all can have whatever it is that comes with rushing 
and forcing and prying open and like bleeding and I'm 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 just it's not worth it for me um because even when I get the thing what I've realized about myself is like I'm rushing and I'm forcing and I'm trying to come through when I get the thing it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good because the journey wasn't joyful right I'm suffering for 10 years to experience a moment of happiness maybe a moment a fleeting moment it's just not enough but I want to slow down and linger in the wildflowers and camp on the beach and sit at the park all day and sing songs and, and dance with the trees. And like, that's who I am. That's who I've always been. And it's like, no wonder why you're so sad, Alicia. This is not the life you want to live. You want to fall behind. You want to, you want to hang back. I've always been that. Why are we moving so fast? Why are we rushing? Please, I hate being rushed. I'm always the person lingering behind the group of people, always. And like, what if falling behind is not a bad idea? What if not, what if I don't wanna keep up? And then if you don't wanna keep up with every, people say stuff like, oh, live within your means and stop keeping up with the Joneses. But then if you do linger behind and fall behind, then you're telling you, then they're telling you that you're not doing enough. People don't know what they mean. People have no idea what they mean. Like. Sometimes a slow response is best. Like even as I'm talking, right? Like sometimes I just want to pause and linger with the words and my thoughts before I speak them. Sometimes I want to taste them before I share them. Sometimes I want to eat my own meal before I share that meal with other people, you know? And with like creation and content creation, I can feel like, oh, I have this thing. I need to hurry up and share it, right? And it's like, why do I feel that way? Because I'm afraid somebody else is going to talk about it because I'm afraid it's not going to be relevant anymore. Like again, what is real is always relevant, number one. And two, it's like, even if other people talk about it, it doesn't mean that you can't talk about it either, right? Like, it doesn't, like, there's no race. There's no rush. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, that's like my affirmation for the day. Like, it's okay to fall behind. It's okay to not keep up. Because keeping up is exhausting and I don't want half the stuff that y'all want anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I really checked in with myself, I actually don't want, because the upkeep of what you have, because of what it costs to get it, right? Like even people talking about like being a millionaire and stuff like that. Sure. If I make a million dollars, wonderful. I'm not, I'm not betting on it though. Cause I'm just not, to be completely honest with you, what I really want to say, and I like, I'm just also stepping into like all this honesty. I don't want to work that hard. I don't want to exploit people. I don't want to forsake the joys of everyday life for money. It's never been that serious for me. And, and I think I've been trying to force myself to make it serious for me because everybody will tell you that you're not a responsible adult if you don't care about that stuff. And it's like, yeah, I need resources to get the things done. But money is not one of my top motivating factors or values. It's not. Like, it's not. So chasing it is so unfulfilling to me. And I'm trying to make it fulfilling. And she's like, that's not even why you want to do it. And I'm, and I'm trying to believe that if I do honor my values, if I do honor the music I want to make, the money's going to come anyway. Right? Like, that's the hope. You know, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But, like, I want to trust it. I want to trust the not knowing. <sighs> I don't want to be so short of everything before I make the step. Because that's exhausting. Like, like when you're trying to plan a trip, like this has happened to me, like, oh, I want to go to this place. I'm re researching all this stuff. And by the end of the session, I'm exhausted. I don't even want to go no more, right? When I could have just like got the basics of what I need to know. Okay, you need to know the language. You need to know like the, the bare minimum, right? To be okay. And then be okay with life surprising you. You can have a tour guide, right? But like the tour guide that I want are the people who are actually from the area who are like, like even we went to the quick story, we went to the Bahamas with my family and my granddaddy is Bahamian and so is my uncle. And so we went there and we had like the best time because we were with the people who live there, who linger there. Like they're not, like we paid them, right? So they do do this for money. But at the same time, it's like, no, this is my home. Like there's something different about that. And like, that's how I want my life to feel like home in every step of the way. Like it's still gonna be an adventure. We're still enjoying it. We're still getting the things that we really wanna get, which is like the culture, the, the history, food, <laughs> it's also culture, but you know what I mean? Like you're getting the things you want, but you're taking the long way around. You're, you're, you're going to the back spots, the back door. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, 
you're not rushing the process. Like I don't want to zip through Bahamas and just, oh, so I can take a picture and go home. I want to sit and have a conversation with people. I want to eat the food. Like, like I want to dip my feet in the sand and in the toes and I want to make friends with the fish. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's what I want. Like, and that's the life that I want. And so trying to keep up is forfeiting all of that for me. The magic for me is in the moment. The beauty for me is in the present. You know what I mean? I've been so exhausted trying to keep up, trying to anticipate the future, regretting the past, um, trying to do what everybody else is telling me to do, that like life has become so like heavy for me. And 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 I and I, you know, have been sitting with a few questions from some friends, bless you, um, asking me, what do you want? What do you really want? And I've been sitting with that and it's like, what I want is ease and peace and joy um, in the way that I want those things. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I, Even the question of like, I had a friend ask me recently, like, are you okay with being centered? And I'm not like, and that's gonna be a whole other conversation, but like, I have not been okay with being centered because I hardly was. Like I learned that I could not be centered, right? And so like, to save everybody else, to plat to center everybody else like I'm always on the outside and like I'm never considering myself it's always like oh well what is this person gonna think about that like even basic stuff like travel I've been trying to travel <laughs> or trying to figure out what I want to do and like I'm like oh well I can't go because it's th that person's birthday or oh no like but what about this and like Alicia what do you want to do my dear what do you want to do what do you like what do you want to see what do you not want to miss out on this year you know and it's hard to, to to say no to people and it's hard to disappoint people. But like, but I have been there all these past years. Maybe it's somebody else's, maybe it's somebody else's turn to step up and step in. I don't want to be someone's everything. I never wanted to be that. Like, I want to be someone's someone, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I don't never want to be someone's everything. And like, if I am their everything, then I'm playing God. You have me elevated too high. You got me. You, mm -mm, I am not God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and I've been, again, centering other people, doing the exact opposite of that, which is also wrong, right? Like centering everybody else and not myself. Like, I need to care for myself. And what feels good right now to care for myself is to be okay with falling behind, with not having a set schedule with waking up every morning and shout out to another friend of mine, Denise, I love you. Um, saying, waking up in the morning, okay, Alicia, what do you, what do you, what do you need from me today? And when she said that to me, I'm like, wow. Because the first thing I think about in the morning, of course, is like, oh, thanks God for making, you know, thanks for another day. Appreciate it. And it's like, the second thing is like, what do I need to do? Like, what do I need to get done? And it's hardly ever for me. I have doctor's appointments I need to do. Like, it's just crazy. Anyway, but it hardly is for me. It's like, oh, I need to give this person this thing. I need to respond to this email. I need to, it's always about everybody else because I'm so afraid of letting everybody else down that like I've been letting myself down all this time. And myself is sad. And so I have to relearn centering myself um, and like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm trying, whatever. I'm trying to learn how to slow down and I'm so annoyed because it's taking me years, but I got to have grace with myself <laughs> because like I've been running full speed at this point for like 32 years. Not me looking at the clock. How many years? 32 years, right? 32 years or 30 years or however many years, 32 years I've been running top speed when you're like for those who like run track or whatever we all know like or even what or playing sports let's just go that when you're running top speed like you're sprinting you need some room afterwards to slow down you need that like um that runway right not just to keep to make it it's not like oh you win and stops like no because you're gonna hurt yourself <laughs> and um and i think I just need to have grace with myself. Like, of course, Alicia is taking you years to get it and to slow down. But like, I am somewhere different than I was a year ago or six months ago, even three months ago. Like, I'm in a completely different place. Um, and like, what I'm experiencing now is that slowing down, like I'm still running, I'm still running, but I'm not sprinting, you feel me? And then after that, I got to catch my breath, right? And then after that, like, 
then I have to like sit for a second, you know? So like having grace for myself and a slowing down and slowing down is, is also practice, is also work. And if you want to slow down well, you got to go through the process. And the process sometimes is frustrating because like, it's like you want to slow down. You feel your body like getting heavier, right? But like you still got that momentum behind you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is all over the place. But what the idea, uh, basically the idea is I'm okay with falling behind. I'm okay with not keeping up, you know? And people going to judge it. People are going to judge it. Like, even the questions are like, oh, what are your financial plans for the future? I have none. <laughs> like, because I hardly have the capacity to care about it. I'm literally living from paycheck to paycheck. I don't have the energy. And the paychecks are not big. You know what I mean? And shout out to, to people like from Lack to Legacy, i.e. Miss Sandra, like, who are showing women the way. And like, I still need to... I still need to join um, her movement. She's trying to get a thousand black women. So I'm going to share her information. Um, but like, I don't have the capacity to care that far into the future. And maybe I need to do a separate video because we have to have a conversation about poverty and like how that traumatizes you and robs you of your energy and your time um, and your peace and how some people don't have the capacity for more information, for more stress, you know? Um, because it, it is a little bit of stress and it's not to say like, oh, it's a bad thing. It's just like, no, like doing new things is stressful. <laughs> you know, learning new things is stressful. And sometimes when you're trying to manage day to day, like that's just another reason to stress out. Um, yeah. So, just tired of striving. <laughs> tired of just surviving tired of trying like I'm just in a place where I'm like literally I'm just tired of trying I don't want to try no more I just if I don't want to try anymore and what does that mean it means like oh if if I do this I put the thing out and it didn't work okay whatever moving on <laughs> like that's how tired I am and I'm, people are like just keep going keep going at it and it's like hi it's okay you can come in but when you keep going at it um, no, it's okay. Anyway, people keep saying, like, keep going, keep trying. Um, but when you keep going top speed, it's like you're exhausted. And at this point, like, you're running on fumes. And you don't want to use those fumes for, like, new stuff. You want to use your fumes for, like, maintaining and being healthy and being happy. And so that's why people, again, that's why people are buying stuff that don't really mean nothing. <laughs> Because people want happy. And we're telling people experiencing poverty, like, oh, you're not allowed to buy that thing. Like, we're their parents. That's another conversation. But we're not their parents. But, like, also, let them buy the thing. Let them go on vacation. Let them buy the candy. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are poor and, and trying to have some sort of hope or something positive. But anyway, tired of keeping up, tired of trying, tired of striving. But I think I'm okay with falling behind.